Hey everybody, this is Chad from Far Beyond Snoopy, and today I'm going to be reviewing something new um, that I uh, I was surprised with today. Um, this is a new burger that uh, Sonic Drive-In launched here just a few days ago, and I was sitting here at home, and uh, the missus came home and said, "Hey, I found something new at Sonic, and they have some pretty creative stuff." So I was pretty excited to try this. So today we're going to be checking out the Big Dill cheeseburger. Actually, let me read you their description. I'll tell you about it. Um, crispy pickle fries, a creamy dilly ranch, chopped lettuce, crinkle cut pickle slices, and melty American cheese layered on a 100% pure seasoned beef patty on a toasted brioche bun. I'll show it to you guys. Uh, $5.49 was the, uh, the price tag on this one. So, look at that. Of course, looks, you know, like a usual Sonic burger, but once you pull the bun back, a beautiful collection of pickles, um, a dill sauce, and it has their new um, dill pickle fries actually on it. So this looks pretty good. Um, pretty good amount of, uh, of toppings on there, pretty good distribution. Um, honestly, couldn't think of anything I'd add to it. Maybe add some onions, maybe a tomato, but I'm gonna try this out um, as is. I'm a big pickle fan and I love dill. So when she came home with this one, I was like, oh yeah, we're, we're doing this. Mmm, this is pretty good. Um, good meat. Sonic has a good burger. I love their their seasoning. Their meat's usually really juicy, um, but the the pickle and the dill combination is really good. Um, all that dill flavor going on is a nice contrast to the burger. But I love pickles. I always put pickles on my a, a lot of pickles on my burger. But that dill sauce, the dill pickle spears the fried pickle fries, like all those add a really nice combination of textures that go really well with the burger. The bun itself, um, buttery, flaky, really flavorful. I like the sauce. It's a really creamy sauce. Kind of reminds me of like a good tartar sauce, but with a good amount of dill to it. Really flavorful though. Works really well with the meat and the, um, and the pickles. Let's get some more of this. This is a good burger. All right, so I'm gonna sit back, eat a little bit more of this, and then I'll come back and we'll wrap up, talk about some final thoughts, and uh, try to give this burger a rating. Go ahead and mash that thumbs up button like there's no tomorrow. Leave a comment about how rad this video is. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to find out when we put awesome new videos up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Sonic's the big dill. I'm gonna give this burger two thumbs up. Just tasty. I mean, that's that's the best thing I can say about it. The combination of the taste and the textures is an incredible mix. Um, Sonic's burgers have always been some of my favorites. I just, I really like their burgers. Um, so the beef, seasoned, nice and juicy, hot, fresh. The brioche bun, bur uh, buttery, flaky, great flavor to that. Um, but the combination of the dill sauce, the dill pickles, and the pickle fries is a great um, accoutrement to the uh, burger itself. Um, the lettuce, I, I honestly didn't even notice it. I was more focused on the pickles. Now for me, next time I get one, I'm probably gonna add some onions and tomatoes to it, but but not a lot. Um, I don't wanna overdo it. But I think those would um, would add a little extra to the burger, in my opinion. So that's, that's just my thoughts on it. But delicious, Sonic hit another home run. I mean, they make great food, I love their food. And uh, this is just another great addition for the summertime that I look forward to eating even more. So if you have a Sonic drive-in nearby, um, go and grab yourself some. The Big Dill, um, super tasty burger. And um, if you guys have had it, comment. Let me know what you think about it. So yeah, I think that's that's all I have for today. That wraps it up for me, guys. Thanks for watching another food review here on Far Beyond Snoopy. And we'll see you next time.